What's going on guys? Hope you're doing good today. Uh, so just about this Instagram video yesterday that you saw in the intro. Uh, I thought it was super cool. It got this little fade in. Uh, makes me appear or you can also do a disappear. And believe it or not, this is actually super simple to do. All you're going to need is my free drag and drop Luma fade transition that I have on the selfie. I've posted a few other videos about it. So go download that and then hop into Final Cut and I'll show you exactly what I did. So this is the clip that we're starting with, just like walking on this cool log and it overlooks um, downtown Vancouver in BC, Canada. So it's just like a walk forward and then walk back. So what I want to do to this is all I want to do is make a cut where I want the transition to start. So I'm going to hit Command B and then I'm going to trim up until there's none of me left. So as soon as I leave the frame and the focus shifts again, so the focus comes in there. I'm going to hit Command B again. We're going to cut that middle portion and then zoom in a little bit. This whole intro, don't really need all of that. So I'm going to cut that off. And then all you're going to do is you're going to use the Luma Fade transition that I did. Um, that should be under MW. There's a shot in 4K, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to use this, and we're going to drag that onto there. So the keys in order to get this effect, though, is you need to shoot on a tripod. If you don't shoot on a tripod, then this isn't going to work. I have the Manfrotto like mini tripod, which is really good for vlogging. And for this, I was able to mount it on the log super low, and it was super stable as well. And I think that's only like $40. The link is in the description down below if you want to check it out on Amazon. So this is the effect that we have here. So that happens super fast. So we can drag that out. This is what I did. Is I made it really exaggerated. And if you have like a three-second transition, then you get a really cool effect to it. So I think what's happening here is that I need to open up the precision editor and this just got dragged out a little long. So I'm going to bring that back to there and then hit escape, close that, we'll re-render it. So that's the effect like that. So on its own, it's pretty simple um, and it's not too exciting. So what I did is I made a compound clip out of all of this and added some effects to that to really enhance it. So I'm going to make a new compound clip and then I reversed it in my case because I wanted it to um, I wanted it to be nothing there and then I appear instead of appear and then disappear. So in order to do that, we can go over to our retime tool and hit reverse clip and that's going to reverse it so that we start with nothing and then I appear like that. So it's pretty magical. And then the next step I want to do is add a Ken Burns effect, which basically is like a gradual zoom in. So it looks like there's some camera movement. So if you go over to your crop tool and then hit Ken Burns, we can, this is the end and that's the start. So I want to reverse that by going to these little arrows in the top left and just flip that you can make this custom, you can make it like zoom more over to your right or into the corner, and you can drag the size of this if you want to zoom in um, to be a little bit more drastic. I'll just undo that and we'll just do a simple zoom in like that. You can also keyframe the scale too if you want to do a little bit differently. And then the second thing I did was added a handheld effect that's built into Final Cut. So if you go over to your effects, I'm going to search for handheld. And this is going to give you a little bit of camera movement because you're shot on a tripod. But if we want to make it look like it's more handheld and a little bit more of a custom effect than it actually is, then put on the handheld and you can go over to your inspector and change the shakiness and the distance as well. I left this um, a little bit as is. I think I dropped the shakiness down to 15 just so it's a little bit more subtle. This made for a really cool sort of natural motion. 
to make it not look like it was shot on a tripod. So now if you check this out, Pretty cool, just like that. So that's the effect, guys. It's super simple. Uh, make sure you shoot on a tripod. But other than that, use it. It's super cool um, and super easy as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to see more videos that I post and see what I've been working on. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Let's go.